Imagine a world where the supply of available organs for transplant became almost unlimited. How would this affect your daily routine? How would this affect your perspective? How would this affect your entire lifestyle? Every 10 minutes, someone is added to the waiting list of organ transplant, transplant recipients. Currently, biologists are tampering with a new procedure known as exenotransplantation. This is the transfer of any cells, tissues, or organs from one species to another. A new advancement of this procedure is the transfer of the major organs such as lungs or hearts of pigs to humans. This field of genetic engineering is derived from the sciences of stem cell therapy, which is the replacement of damaged or corrupt cells in the body by artificially inserting healthy ones instead. What these scientists plan to do is take the organ of a pig, remove all the original cells belonging to the pig, and repopulating said organ with usable human cells. This will then help to convert the organ into a body part which will function, as specific, function specifically as human organs are usually designed to function. At the American Association of Thoracic Surgery's 94th meeting, scientists reported having successfully inserted the heart of a pig whose cells had been depopulated and modified into a baboon utilizing the baboon's own cells to redesign the heart. J. Craig Venter, an accomplished American biologist, is helping to oversee the advancement of this new procedure. In order to further strengthen its improvement, his company Synthetic Genomics is teaming up with Lung Biotechnology, another company which is a subsidiary of a larger company, United Therapeutics. United Therapeutics is a company which dedicates itself to the de development and advertisement of different methods to treat currently unmet medical priorities. Synthetic Genomics is a privately run company which devotes itself to the use of genomics to solve global issues. This revolutionizes medical advances in technology as we know it and takes bioethics and genetic engineering to a whole new level. This becomes a gateway to a variety of new procedures which may potentially solve multiple other medical issues dealt with today. Each day, an average of 79 people receive organ transplants. However, an average of 18 people die each day waiting for the transplant procedure, which cannot be done due to shortage of available organs. Possibilities of success are improved when backed up with the knowledge that humans share 90% of the same DNA with all other animals. Martin Rothblatt, chairman and CEO of United Therapeutics, claims that it would provide an unlimited supply of organs. Yes, while this procedure seems lovely and amazing, there are also various cons that come along with this new prospect of unlimited available organs. The lifespan of a pig is around 15 years. The organ may age much quicker than a normal human organ. Some animal proteins may be incompatible with the molecular functions of a human. In this procedure, there is a high possibility of the development of disease due to the fact that transplantation breaches a human's physical barrier, which usually helps to, rev to prevent against transmitted diseases. If an individual were to have this procedure done, then they most likely would have to be monitored constantly without the ability to every to ever stop the monitoring, and this will go against the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations. Many animal rights groups have also protested against the termination of animals in order to harvest their organs for medical purpose. As of now, I do not have a permanent opinion concerning this topic. This is due to the fact that Xenotransplantation is a very new method to treat the deficiency of available organs and it hasn't had time to fully develop into an actual working function that is utilized globally. However, just by observing the prospect of the use of this method and the predictable future, I can conclude that I stand by the growth of xenotransplantation. While there are many prominent risks, which I previously elaborated upon, there are also incredible beneficial possibilities. Through constant trial and error, I feel this area of scientific research can be perfected and will serve as a solution for our current organ predicament. 
However, I am quite against having to take the life of an animal in order to add to human gain. So this perspective makes me also less likely to support this new procedure, which is why I feel conflicted. So, what is your perspective on the matter?